Your party has been in power for five years and things are more expensive. Facts. Why is the BC NDP making life increasingly unaffordable for British Columbians? It's okay to feel frustrated, Mo. We've gone through a lot in the last few years. A global pandemic, a toxic drug crisis, wildfires, heat waves, country countrywide high housing prices, leaving people struggling to find a home, an extreme climate event that cut off fuel and devastated our highways. But through it all, we have been there working hard for regular folks like you. We've tackled money laundering and toxic speculation in the housing market, changed laws to improve housing security for renters and started building homes at record pace. I think it's worth remembering what things were like before John Horgan's BC NDP had the opportunity to lead this province. Under the BC Liberals, criminal money laundering ran rampant, and the government of the day refused to even acknowledge that a housing crisis existed, let alone build social housing projects. They refused to invest in new hospitals, fired thousands, thousands of healthcare workers, slow walked seismic upgrades, and closed 250 schools while ignoring the childcare crisis, allowing ICBC's deficit to balloon out of control, and the scandals, selling land to their friends, public contracts to big donors. Is there more for us to do? You better believe that there's more for us to do. But since the beginning, we've been working hard for you. And I'm 100% confident that we're, our province is in a better position today than we would have been under the BC Liberals. And Mo, I think you know that too.